Okay, change your color to white. I'm gonna back out one. Oops. There we go. So that's what we look like right now. And um, actually, change it back. I'm gonna change mine back to black and put in a little bit of shading up towards the hair part here. I think I'm gonna have my light hitting this. Yeah, I'll have it hitting, like, my light will be coming from over here. So. There we go. Yeah, mom. Okay, I'm... I have my music playing so I don't get bored. I probably should get a time, some, figure out some way to do time lapse on my thing. That way you guys don't have to watch me go through all of this. And don't be afraid to use your eraser. It's very easy just to smooth stuff out like that. And your blur. This is like one of your best tools you could ever have. Okay. There we go. Now, highlights are the main thing when you're doing hair. You're like, great, right? It's not that hard. Just do it. You're going to want it a lot, lot, lot lighter than you would with the body. Like, to where it's turning white in. And you just keep going. There we go. So, and don't be afraid to like put highlights in the middle of the hair, like right here. And then like return them to the edge. It's like really fun to do. And then you just blur everything in. And you don't really want a lot to be like touching the neck of or in this case, if you're doing the tail, which he doesn't have tail, um, just go like that. There we go. You can see what I'm doing, right? Okay, yeah, okay, just wanted to make sure. Because it cuts off, like, part of, like, half the top of my screen. Well, not really half of it. My music is distracting, but I like it. It keeps me company. Because when with music on, you feel like you're actually talking to somebody when you're doing this. Because it's really odd. You're talking to yourself. It feels like you're talking to yourself. E. Oh, yeah. See, look at all that shading once you blur it in. I mean, highlights would be blurred in. It looks magnificent. There we go. And again, we're using the same shading techniques and settings, except for the brush size. That's adjustable, like always. Um, so if you figure out a way, like, Using some spin-off of my other tutorial, I'm pretty sure you can figure out of your own style. You can figure out something for this one too. Let's see. Nah. You could add like a little bit there. And then blur it in. There we go. Okay. Now see that's what I got. And it looks like hair, right? Well it looked like hair anyway. <sighs> Love what you why am I saying wisteria where tigers is? Lines. Um, here we go. Highlighting. Here we go. Here we go. Um, go, and 
I'm almost done. Sorry for taking so long. I think I probably said this, but I really need time lapse. Some way to do a time lapse. Maybe I can just like shrink the shot and have it bend with it whenever I talk. I'll be going really fast. That'd be interesting. Really interesting. See, this part, the recording, isn't the hard part. It's the finding time to stick your movie together part. Okay. There. And once you have all your shading in, you want, like, very few shading on your hair. There you go. Um, and... Oh yeah, don't forget to put your shading on a different layer. Here, I'll show you guys that. There's your shading layer, background layer. So if you go like this, all your shading disappears. There's a difference. Big difference. So I hope you guys like that. I hope this one turned out because the last time I shot a tutorial, it took me like a week just to record and like another month to <laughs> stick it together. But anyway, let's say do it, and I hope you liked it. And like the two major things, the only thing that's really different with this is the fact that you use a lot more shade, um, not shading, I'm sorry, highlighting than, than you normally would. Highlighting. The white stuff, yeah. And just go with the flow of the hair. Okay? See, when you're doing the body, you tend to go with the flow of the light. But when you go with the hair, you gotta go with what, where that your light hits the hair. You have to be more precise with everything. So, I hope you liked my tutorial. And that's your hair shading tutorial. And all I have left to do after you do that Let's select none. Delete your background layer. Then you're left with your um, shading and over highlighting. And then you just save it. See female. Oh, and I also have to tell you, um, wear tigress. These are, um, she free to color and show off your work, but you have to give her credit, um, um, on BI. So, yeah, have fun with your new shading techniques. And you should be able to do everything except for, um, Anyway, have fun. Bye. Oh, I have a couple hours. Maybe I can stick it together then. Okay, see you next time. Um, next time I'll probably be doing some wacky inking tutorial or something. So, bye.